We have launched a whole host of battery electric vehicles over the last couple of years, and we have more in the pipeline. In fact, this year we're launching at least two. Uh, and if you look at the just the technical specs of these vehicles, we have uh, top range, uh, top efficiency, uh, uh, fantastic hyperscreens in the car that open up uh, to a whole world of, of digital offerings to our customers. So it is on the one hand about uh, staying ahead in the innovation race and being a leader in the innovation race, which has always been, uh, been our uh, underlying DNA, but at the same time putting it into the right wrapping. So when you get a Mercedes, you have this high tech uh, but uh, in a luxury setting. So you got to get both of those things right. And when we do that, um, the fan base of Mercedes honors that with strong demand. How far are we from seeing um, safe, autonomous driving cars from Mercedes? We have been working on assisted driving for more than 20 years. Uh, you could even argue we are inventors of assisted driving and now we are in the early era of autonomous drive where we have the first situations where actually the computer takes over. Last year we were the first manufacturer to launch a so-called level three vehicle with our S-Class. The Autobahn in Germany in heavy traffic and traffic jam situations, the computer take over and you're truly autonomous. So uh, the customer gets back the most valuable gift of all, time. Uh, and the car drives you, so you have a computer chauffeur. That first few baby steps uh, into actually now proliferating autonomous drive into the market, and you will see um, as this decade moves on that step by step we will increase this envelope, uh, and the assistance systems also help you. They are little angels in the background that make driving safer. And let me ask you, as, uh, as, as a boss of one of the world's most famous car companies, for you, what is now important? Is it the, uh, the car factory or the battery factory? It's both. Uh, we are investing billions into the new technologies, electrifying the car, the electric drivetrain, but also uh, the uh, digitalization of the vehicle, uh, putting... Uh, supercomputing-like processing power into the vehicles, uh, but not forgetting all, uh, all the values that you expect from a Mercedes. You know, everything needs to feel right, be right, the ride, the drive, the look, the feel, all of those things matters as well. So it's a high-tech race for transformation technologies, but it's also uh, taking what we have done for 100 years plus and, and, and taking that to the next level. Do you recognize there is a sort of uh, crisis for the manufacturers of uh, EVs around the world in that uh, buying an EV and driving an EV is, in a sense, a, a question of uh, displaced virtue? Yes, there are electric vehicles, but somewhere in many countries there's a coal-fired power station or a gas-fired power station or an oil-fired power station running these vehicles. It, it's a conundrum that none of you have really come up with a solution to. Ultimately, uh, for this transformation of mobility, three things need to go hand in hand. Uh, the development of the product, which is our job, and we'll take care of that. The development of the infrastructure to make sure that you can charge when you are uh, on a longer trip. And thirdly, it is the energy transition. Uh, so the energy transition that you're referring to is hugely important.